Hi, my name is Pierre Brassard. I'm building my new system. Uh, this time I'm going to be installing a Gigabyte 890GPA UD3H. The G I would imagine stands for graphic because it has a graphic card on board. It has nice features. I'm just going to let you look at those over here. Uh, definitely DDR3, SATA3, USB 3X and USB 3. I won't be using SATA, SATA 3 because the hard drives are too expensive, but the hard drive that will be going in this one is going to be a Western Digital Caviar Black Edition. It's this one right here. Uh, it's a bit heavy because it's quite thick and it's made of more metal materials inside compared to the other two that I have, my older ones, my older SATA. And the specs on this one are I'm going to be going with. Uh, Where's my sheet? Oh, there it is. I'm going to be going with um, a one terabyte, and this one has 32 megabyte of cache, so which is going to be very handy. Handy. Uh, what else uh, in the in the box uh, for the motherboard, which is right here? Uh, you'll have two cables with 90 degree connectors for the SATA hard drives and you'll have one IDE, you'll have one back plate and you'll have a manual which is not here plus another translated manual for the installation of the CPU and other components as well as the driver's utility uh, gigabyte disk. Uh, the CPU that will go on this computer on this system will be an AMD Phenom 2 X6. Uh, this one is a 2.8. It has uh, three cores that will be in uh, overclock when it's when all six are not in used. When all six are in used, the three that were overclocked will come back down to 2.8 gigahertz. And it's firmware. It's inside the CPU itself. Uh, here we're gonna have, uh, I'm not gonna be using the stock fan which came with the CPU I'll be using this one over here instead, this is a Cooler Master, one of my favorite and for cleaning the surface here as well as on the CPU I'll be using a contact cleaner, something you can use for automotive and be careful to just put some on here and make sure you spray away from your board, not on the board. The reason why I'm using I'm using this contact cleaner is because it's uh, it's static free and it's also going to be uh, it's very volatile. The paste I'm going to be using is uh, Free Z from OCZ. I used it already on my previous system, and it works very good. I cannot give you specs on it because I'm not that kind of guy that does specs like this. It says it's extreme thermal and con uh, conductivity uh, compound. All right. I won't be showing you the installation, but I'm just showing you what's going to be going in it. What else? So for memory modules, we're going to be going with the G skills, where speed is. Two sticks, both of them would be at two, gig, at 2 gig. I thought that 4 gig would be the way to go because anything more than that, the system will recognize it but it won't use it. 3.2 is maybe the maximum that the system will be able to use it. And there's also a quote in the Gigabyte user manual saying that if you do put more, you won't be getting more. So it's a waste of my money if I was going to go anything more. Uh, the board also had those two stickers right here. And a kind of a friendly uh, marketing logo that was placed kind of right here. It looks good. I'm not really the... I read all the specs on it but I'm kind of rusty right now. It definitely has uh, good cooling um, radiators on top of components that requires cooling. Uh, for video cards, we will have, as you can see, we have two video cards, uh, PCI Express. 
I'm gonna have the HIS 5750 from uh, yeah it's from HIS it has the Radeon ATI chips uh, chip on it this one's a 1 gigabyte 1080p and HDMI so it has definitely lots of connectivity for video outputs as you can see there it shows HDMI component and display port which sometimes I call myself uh, a video port of some sort uh, why I choose this one because it's low power at idle and it defin definitely delivers good uh, frame rate uh, when it's time to play some serious games but the thing is I bought two of these and what you'll find inside is a little kind of brochure that you can open up portfolio and you'll have the disc the installation manual and you'll have the video card itself I should be careful here don't want to break nothing and you can see the PCI Express Crossfire port on top on the back you have the connectors and it came with this as well the crossfire bridge oh forgot to mention if you don't have because it has a PCI a, a six pin connector uh, they also give you an adapter for older type of power supplies uh, this system will be built into this Intec uh, case. It's a full tower with two bays. <clears throat> Each bay can have uh, three hard drives and four bays for the five and a quarter drives. There's a side door right here with the fan on the side of it for the video card. And you can see through that little window. Uh, the power supply we'll be using is a uh, through power 30 it's a 650 if I'm not mistaken yes it is it's also from Antec I like it it really is smooth and because I'm always careful with my electronics I use uh, a UPS from UPA right there and during the installation I often because I'm on a carpet here I often put my finger on a screw, let's say for the switches to turn lights on and off and I go on the back of my UPA there, there's a screw for grounding. I always make sure that I ground myself to dissipate the static electricity on me. Uh, the hard drive will be a Western Digital, which is the one already installed on that bay there, on that bay cage. It's a one terabyte, it's 32 megabyte for uh, cash, and it's a Caviar Black Edition. Can't wait to try it. It's 72 RPM, 7200 RPM. This one. I'm quite anxious to give it a try. Did I forget anything? We got video card, motherboard, CPU. Oh, operating system would be Windows 7, 32 bit. And as I discovered, if you go 64 bit, the problem is the problem is you won't be able to go on the internet and be able to um, try all the Java or the silver um, silver light software it's not compatible with 64 bits so it was going to be a waste of my time uh, because I'm going to be doing some CADs with that computer and 64 bit is going to allow you to use more than 4 gigabyte of memory uh, what else did I should I be mentioning? Oh, maybe you want to see the front of this computer. Uh, the four bays. I got one DVD drive on top there from LG, which works very good. And I've got that uh, front panel for um, for cards, for memory cards. And on the bottom there, I've got built on the case. USB connectors for Firewire and audio microphone and output. 
you may have seen this case from different companies. I think Intec been selling their design to some other companies. It, it has fans everywhere. It has a fan right in front here of that of that bay, which is removable, as you can see, and it has two in the back there. And I think there's one underneath this power supply as well as in the back. And I've got one more on the bottom there. Yeah, that's right. You can barely see it, but there's one there as well. And this one also comes with a slot underneath where you can install a filter. So I never have any dust inside this computer. Well, we're going to put it together and maybe I'll give you another blog later on.